they're all right. Well, I'm wondering too. And oh, in this wide world of woe.
song, man. That's, that's good. That's your song. Oh, mercy. Amen. Thank the Lord. Sing, Brother Tom. Gun to there. <laughs>
here. First time we've been here in a long time. Look coming in here. We got some people coming yeah. in here. Yeah. Sister yeah. Jim, we're happy to see Thank them. The Lord. Happy to see everybody this year. Hi, Brother Carl. <laughs> Carl. We have tried to go by the guidelines. We have everything. We have masks back in the back if you so desire. You. And we Good have see you. hand sanitizer on every on every pew. We're welcome to use that. We're glad to use that. Sister Jen's coming in. We don't want to lay hands on her today. We're glad to her they're here. I've got Jeremy. And we're thankful that we've been able to get out. I guess we look kind of strange in a way. Yeah. It really don't bother me that much. Everybody looks perfect. But anyway, we do as we do. We do the best we can. Right. And that's all we can do. Amen. I know this, Brother Lon, because the world is coming to an end. And uh, I firmly believe in my heart that, Brother Lon, after this is over, there'll be something else. I believe we're entered into the time of sorrow, as far as I'm concerned, Brother Gilbert, Brother John. We're living in very, very dangerous times. But you know what? God is real. Yes, he is. He's alive. And I know that Brother John Hill will take care of his people. Still on the throne. Death is not so bad for his people. Oh, no. No, no it's not. It's but death thing. for the sinner, Brother John, the unbeliever, that's, bad. Bad. that's what's bad. That's yeah. right. That's what's bad, Brother Jr. So I said, there ain't no unbelievers. Well, look out and watch your TV for a while. <laughs> watch your TV for a while. We'll see where there's no unbelievers. You know that there's unbelievers. Yeah. What is an unbeliever? It's the person that don't believe Christ come here, didn't hang on the cross, That's right. and he didn't get out of the grave. Oh, amen. But he sure done that just as sure as I'm standing before you today. Absolutely. Yes, did, We're very thankful that you're all here with us today and <coughs> hope God will bless us. And he has blessed us. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. But Raj... He's blessed us to be here again. I know we're all afraid of this thing they call the virus. And we all should respect it. Right. But the Bible says, fear not man who can only destroy the body. But fear God who can destroy both soul and body in hell. What does that mean? <laughs> That means if you don't believe and repent and be born again, right. you're going to hell. That's it. your way south. And you know what? Today, Brother John, that's not the end of it. No, that's right. The dead that are in hell shall be given up. Yeah. And Brother really, they'll be cast somewhere yeah. into a lake of fire. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is the lake of fire? It's a hot place. It's an eternal place. It's not good. It's, it's an eternal place. place. What does eternal mean to you all? There's no end. There's no end. You know what? Heaven's eternal. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's no end there either. That's, the, good best, little that's the best part of it. The same way for the there's no the end to heaven, brother. Going, going. And I'm going to tell you something else. Amen, there's no end to salvation. <laughs> that's the good part. His mercy endureth forever. Brother. There's no end to salvation, by the line. Once you've been saved, Amen. you're saved. <laughs> yeah, no end to that. Thank you, Lord. What are you saved from? You're from saved the lake of sins. fire. Yeah. Saved from your sins. 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 What separates you from God? Sins. Unbelief, which is sin. Unbelief. Yes. And the Bible says anything that's short of what? Of faith. It's what is it? It's sin. 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 It's sin. Why is that? We're thankful you all hear me with us today and I hope God will bless us. Yes, Lord. I feel that he already has. Yes. Is there anybody here that has a prayer request? I've got a neighbor, uh, Foster Hayes, going to have open heart surgery. Tuesday, remember him in prayer. <coughs> I'd well, say Brenda's doing, doing well. She thanks you for your prayers. I wanted to tell you all that she loves you. and uh, She's doing a lot better. A lot better. What, what's going on with her, Jim? She had a uh, a place they, uh, they said a mosquito bit or something she scratched it and, oh, and got cellulitis 
It's a big word in front of it. Started with a P, whatever that word is. It's, and it's a real bad infection, and they thought they feared it was going to her brain, uh, so they put her in the hospital and run 48 hours of real strong antibiotics. And thank you, Lord. She's doing. She's doing good. Anybody else? Brother, Lord. Brother Lindo Frazier, the state association, he called me last night. He can't walk. He's in bad shape. He's well. Just remember him. Remember the family of the little. 12 year old boy that got killed or that passed away that had the four wheeler accident. And the, there's a little girl was with him on it and she's in Columbus in the hospital. Rem and remember, I mean, that mom has to just be totally lost. She lost her husband in a car accident about three or four years ago. And then also remember the Reedy family, uh, Brother Gill's wife passed That's away right. and her visitation's tonight and funeral's tomorrow. And then uh, Tim Sexton, which is Terry's cousin's grandchild, step-grandchild, uh, they found him dead yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I remember Tom and Peggy Davis. <coughs> Anybody else back here? Remember my daughter, Sky Craze. I'm her. Anybody else back here? Yeah. Brother, Brother John Burke, I'm sorry, go ahead. Brother. Brother John Burke is, he's in, we stay all night with him every night, and we have kids that come in and stay during the day, and we are there every fourth night. We stay all night. We're going to 5 o'clock in the evening, and we stay with him around the clock, and he's just, uh, it's, it's not Brother John. I call him two or three times a week. I talk to somebody, not necessarily him. Yeah. No, really. Amen. My wife's, uh, she's got a little adopted sister, and uh, she's in a wheelchair. She's se Is she 17, maybe? Yeah. 17 years old. She's got a spider bite last year and is still having complications from this year. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost a year later. She's in the hospital in Cincinnati. She has uh, infection in her blood, in her bone. And inner tissue, uh, yeah. and they may take the leg. They don't know. And this weekend, they they found a blood clot in her leg too. So, remember. Anybody else? Remember, remember my wife Kim. We love her so dearly. And I feel in my heart she's gonna be fine. I really do. I felt that I called, talked six or ten, and Brother Jeremy called him several times and talked to me on it. And I love you. She's that plain simple. I love you all in here. Amen. And that's, please remember Brother Coley. I, I've yeah, talked to him two or three times this week, and he, he's in really bad shape. And, uh, <coughs> they wanted to start him on a stronger chemo, and he said, Brother Terry, I, I, I can't Amen. take that, I don't think. <coughs> but I think I'll just quit it and get up and go on and do whatever the Lord wants me to do. And please remember him, Sister Amanda. Remember the heart back there, all he's suffering. Lost of his good companion, remember him, and uh, so many people that are sick. And uh, please remember them. I, I tried my best, Brother Fred, to call and check on everybody in this day and time. I, I if I haven't called and checked on, please forgive me. Uh, I tried my best to do what, what I can, and, uh, and I want you to pray for me. I have a great responsibility. This church, yes, yeah, to, to I. We decided to have church today, and uh, yeah, I don't want, want anyone anything. to come in here and get sick of this, you know. And, well, you know, it's been the nature to blame the moderator or whatever happened to go wrong. You know, <laughs> so, that's, not, that's not the way it's going to be here, I'm sure of that. But, uh, but I understand that, you know, I just feel it's still a responsibility that I have, and I, you all really don't know how many lost hours of church I've had in the line over, <laughs> over this thing, and it's a... Uh, it, I call. I, I made the decision to call it off where everybody else called it off, and uh, For sure. and uh, I wouldn't want anybody to be hurt. And there's even statements made by the Willie, "Well, you have no faith if you don't go to church." And first one thing and another, you know. And, uh, and I, I want you to understand that we're trying to do our best, and uh, I believe that what we're doing here today is the right thing. And uh, and uh, if you can't uh, if you can't come, then we understand, and we got. Remember Sister Dorlena, she's not able to be here on account of her condition, Brother Junior. And uh, I understand a lot, a lot of things. A lot of people are sick and they just can't be here. And, and a lot of people have chosen not to be here because of the fear of that. And I understand that. And I don't want you to be critical of them. I 
please, I don't want you right, to give them. Right. Okay? Amen. I, I, it's, 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 hard, it's hard sometimes that we think things, and you know, but by the way, to be critical of people is not, not, it's not a good thing. And you can't, you can't gain anything, Brother Glenn, by being critical of people and condemning them for something. Let everybody choose their own, what they need to do and what, how they yeah. need to do things, Brother John. And I want you to remember Brother John. Yeah. I called, had a call and check on him occasionally. Yeah. And, uh, and he's, he's got to go to Dr. Tuesday, I think it is. And uh, they're going to prepare him for a minor surgery, I think. And so yeah. I want you to remember him. And so he... He, uh, the doctor told me he probably ought to be nine, and John Bugon said he didn't want to live that long. So. <laughs> but anyway, so, but anyway, I, uh, Brother Carl. Uh, I asked about the one church, the Sister Uba, but my brother died for him. Helped out the wrong thing. No, he just loved the sacrifice. I said, God, baby, sir. He said, I, I said, I'm going to church. Absolutely. Amen. I'm going to die for that. Amen. Also, let's, remember. Our son-in-law's sister, Rhonda Ross, but she has breast cancer and starts chemo tomorrow. <coughs> There's so much breast cancer now. Yeah, it's just really unbelievable. Is. As a people that you hear of breast cancer, it's just, it's just rampant, it seems like. It's just so rampant as it is. And, and uh, I think she had chosen not to have a mastectomy. I'm not sure, but really. Uh, I forgot to mention uh, Brother Darrell, he's from in the fracture. He's, he's still in the hospital. He's mm -hmm. dead. Uh, Penis had his pen, penis ruptured. Yeah, he's he's doing doing well, doing all right, and uh, just I think some infection stuff. Infection got out of his body, didn't it? Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. That's rough stuff. Yeah. I'm going to have to take Linda Sue to the outreach, just as quick as we get out of church. Take her down there. She's not feeling big. Good. I'm not sure what all that means, but <coughs> anybody else? Brother Terry, let's uh, keep Brother William, Brother Darrell in mind. We'd have dried up if it hadn't been for their That's true, streaming right. live. I'm telling you, <laughs> big difference. I hope that someday they know how much that meant to yeah. people, everybody. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, does. they was people from Michigan, Florida. Lord, you don't know what it meant to us. Hey, we appreciate that. Yes, all, all the rest of them did the same thing. We appreciate that. Yeah. <coughs> so we'd have. Uh, we do the best we can, and uh, the best we can do is not good enough. Amen. Right. It's not good enough. I'll no. let you know that. Amen. And uh, Brother Junior, my children too. Brother Junior and I, I want to thank Brother Junior and Brother, Brother Keith and Brother Glenn. Amen. And uh, Brother John wasn't able to come as much, but still thank him for us coming here and trying to do this on Saturdays and Fridays. And, yeah. and people have enjoyed it, and like Brother Junior said, people from Texas and a lot of different places have called. California. And, uh, that's why we're recording today. We're going to keep it up. Amen. We don't want to stop it because <coughs> there's so many people that are dependent on it now. Yep. And we want to keep it up and do what the front makes right. Do you hear what Harvey said? Remember my children. Yes. Amen. Remember all of them. It's hard. It's very hard. Anything else? I don't want to be lengthy, but I want to be thorough. Absolutely. And, and do what, what's right. And so, you know. And uh, please. Uh, Remember all of our moderators and our churches and yes. pastors, wherever they may be. It's a tough job, but it's a tough yes, job. It is. So, it's, it's, so, it's, it's our practice here. It's our practice here that we have prayer always for us. Uh, we always have prayer for us. That's, yeah. uh, that's according to the book. So we want somebody to give a song and then we have prayer. Give us a song. Don't everybody argue at one time. <laughs> 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 Amen. We're so thankful for all of you to hear with us tonight, today, I mean. Yes, and please, Thank you. if you want to have church every Sunday, after this, let us know. Uh, if you don't want, to. I don't think we'll have Wednesday nights for now because right. we just can't get enough of them out to have on Wednesday night. And, uh, Tonight. That's my opinion. And right. If you want to have church, uh, I think with a uh, show of hands, it'll be appropriate when we get ready to end service because you want to have it next Sunday. And uh, so if you want to be at every other Sunday or every Sunday, it doesn't matter to me. Right. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. So we'll do the best we can, Brother John, and at that we'll be we'll be mortal failures. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Brother, brother Willie, whoever's got a song.
Somebody said, we're going to win the battle. I'm going to tell you about the battle. Already already won. Already won. Already won. The victory's already there, Brother already. Willie. Praise the victory, already. Brother Willie. It's in Jesus Christ. Yes. You won't find it nowhere else, we're brother. Have our victory. victory in Jesus. Yes. We sang the old song, Victory in Jesus. Victory in Jesus. Where did you win your victory? Brother Glenn, I received my victory through Jesus Christ. One day on Interstate 64. I received victory. Yes. Yes. And I tell you what, and I'm walking now in the newness of life. Yes. Here. Born again. What is the newness of life? Born again. Born again. New creature, man. I didn't want to preach. And they didn't want to preach. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, listen, folks. Yeah. Where are you going to when life is over? Hey, that's the question. That's a question. Yeah. Where are you going to? That's Somebody said, well, I don't know where I'm going to. I know that you don't. You better find out. You better know. I know. You better that. know. But perfect knowledge belongs to the perfect man. Yeah. Don't be better than That's where it says. Huh? Right Who is the perfect man? Well, this man you look at, no. no. Perfect knowledge belongs to the man that has been down to the back of the house and the man right. him as love. Yeah. The perfect knowledge belongs to the man on the inside. Right. Ask yourself this question. If I was to die tonight, hey, where would I be for eternity? Yeah. Yeah. Where would I be? Huh? Hey, so I said, I don't know. You better be finding out, brother. You better be finding out. Be too late after you. You know. better be finding it out. We know. Where would I go? I'm sorry, Brother Fred said, Where can I go but unto the Lord? He is real, brother. He's real. He's real. He is real. He's not something, Brother Fred, that's going to fade away by the heart. Yes, today, Brother He's real. He's alive today and alive forever. Forever. Yes. forever. They thought they killed him. They couldn't uh, kill him. They couldn't kill him, brother. According to what they felt, they had killed him, brother Junior. But he said, "I'll lay my life down." He gave it. I will take it back up. I will take it up again. Yeah. Yes, today, where does he live, brother Junior? He lives in the hearts of his people today. Yes, yes he's still there, brother. Yes, today, brother. Yes, brother John. He's alive and alive forevermore. Ever. So he's not going to die no more, brother. No. And I've got news for you. Brother Willie, I'm not going to die no more either. No, I'm a spiritual man and he's not going to die no more, brother. No, no. I'm alive and alive forevermore. Thank you, Lord. When I raise in his likeness. Thank you, Lord. When I raise in his likeness. Also, Job said this, my one, said one of the other brothers come. <coughs> and I raise in his likeness. And I know I'll be satisfied. I'll be satisfied. And he had something else, didn't he, brother? He said, I know that my Redeemer what? He said, I know, Brother Willie. Look, there's definitely no knowledge in the scripture. You better read it, brother. There's there. He said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. So may God bless you. We thank you for being brave and coming out today and being with us today. Have a good crowd. We're thankful for that. Hope and pray that God will bless these brethren. We're glad that Brother Willie come to be with us today. Absolutely. I want you to pray for him and pray, pray for all these brethren that have come. Which have any of you got a mind to come and preach today? Should I ask you that? Not, I'll make them. I'll make them. Right. Make them there you go. That's your job. But thank you for coming. But I'll give you this advice. God bless you, me. Brother John, me, Brother Willie, Brother Glenn. God ain't bless me. Please turn around and sit down. Yeah. Whoever you are, I'm telling you, Brother Willie, yeah. if God ain't blessed you, sit down, brother, yeah. and don't bore the crowd to death. <laughs> Leave them alone, brother. That's just the way it is, Brother Willie. That includes me, Brother Willie. That includes you. Amen, brother. Somebody said, I don't know where God blessed me or not. Well, you, you're in bad shape, Brother Junior. You you're in bad shape. Yeah. If God ain't blessing you, step down, brother, and let somebody else come and try. They may get a hold of it. Yeah. Years and our, years ago, I know you call it on memory, Brother Bud Coleman. Years and years time. ago, he he we 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 went to I was a little boy, but and Brother Bud had tried to preach that morning. Oh, he made all the size of there was, Brother Junior. Wasn't no count at all. He's a wonderful preacher. They tried to get him up that evening. He said, Lord God, no, I'm not getting up. I made just a failure this morning. Yeah, amen. Lord, he got up. Did he set that place on fire, Brother Willie? It's up to the Lord. Lord mercy set. I remember another little boy. I was alive with him preaching right there. I was 
I, was, I enjoyed it, brother. He said, I made such a failure this morning. You probably don't remember Brother Bud, but, but he, he got up, boy, he tore that house up. Now, let me tell you something. He was a wonderful brother. Brother Bud, Brother Bud was blind. He was blind. Wow. Couldn't say a word. See wow. nothing. But Lord, could he preach? Yeah. He could preach, preach. Come on. Thank you, Lord. God bless my brother, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for loving us like you did. Oh, Brother Nick England, all that brother old brother. Me. Oh, my goodness, I remember them. There you go. I'm going to take this off because I, don't I feel like, like it's safe right here where I'm standing, but I won't hurt nobody. And I've got this song coming to me. The Lord brought it to me, Brother Tommy. And I, feel, I don't really usually volunteer to get up here because I want the Lord's will to be done. And usually, Brother Terry does a mighty fine job. He just blesses him to put us around ones that needs to be up, Brother Long. But I'm like you. I've missed this so bad. I couldn't stay home last Sunday. I had to go out. You brother Larry went to tonight, uh, Little Rosie. We had a wonderful meeting. Had a great day. But uh, as I look around you, I can't come and hug you and kiss you. But I can look at each one. I miss that. And you know how I used to hug you. You know how I feel about you. Yes. As I look around to each one, I want you to feel that love, Brother Ron. Brother Long. Stacy. Number two. Remember the missing children. I can't get Sister Sue off my mind sometimes. And I hope and pray that I never forget that, Brother John, Brother Fred. Right. She instilled that in my prayers, yeah. in my life. It. I think of it all the time. Yeah, As I look at you, I'm I love you. And I know, hon, how you feel. My mom died from breast cancer. My wife got a place on her. Maybe you're coming back, I don't know. But you'll be all right. I'm like Brother Turk. Sometimes, yes, Brother Junior knows. Yes, I feel it'll be okay. okay. Yes. God is in charge. I love you, Brother Willie. I love Bless you. Lord, 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 Lord. Bless you all. I will not be in your presence very long, but God is love. Yes. And if we can't tell you about, if we can't tell you that we love you or show it or prove it to you, then we're in bad shape. Right. So, like I got say, I, I, I need your prayers. Our blessing, Father, we pray. I've never sung this before in, in my mind at the house, but I never sung it out in the house. Oh, I pray. But <laughs> it's true. The Lord's brought it to me, so I, I believe it's His will. You can sing it first. Well, I, I just done the best I could. That's all right, That's all I can do, But this, I believe this song is for us. I think Peter rehearsed the whole matter. Yeah. Amen. Who is that yonder in the distance with his garment white as snow with a voice that sounds like thunder Walking on the streets of gold, his appearance, it was like lightning, sitting high upon his throne with 10,000 times 10,000 shouting with made it home.
that city, there's a river flowing from God's holy throne, where the tree of life is blooming. Yes, it is, brother. Where the half has not been told. There's no, no more tears in that bright city. No, there's not, Mother Glenn. Death will have to flee away. You know that, no more sickness, no more heartaches in that land of perfect day. Glory, glory, hallelujah. I said, I respect my older brother. 
I mean, I do, Brother John. I want you to come. I want everybody to take the parties. He said, I bet you older than me. Yes, yes. In age. In age. Yeah. Not the Lord. Not in the Lord. Lord. And, Amen. Brother Junior said, you got, he ain't got me too. He said, I said, I got a lot of faith in you, Brother Junior. I got a lot of faith in God. He said, where put your faith in Jesus? Amen. Yeah, confidence. Amen. Give a little confidence, maybe, in me. And I, he's right, Brother Carl. Yeah. I can do nothing. I couldn't have got up this morning. I couldn't stand here and speak. And I most certainly couldn't have sang that song. Because no. I can't hardly breathe. <clears throat> but I'm going to set an example for the world that I want to do my part to try. And just, I love you. And that's the main thing I want you to know. Amen. But Jesus loves you more. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. They got mine come? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Still being to God, though, like that. Continue to bless, Lord, I pray. Bless you, Lord. We like to shake your hand, Brother John. There'll be more time for that. I figured I'd better get up and. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You'll be here. And try to show a love that. Or put the mic on, brother. They're not here. Yeah, they won't hear me. They won't hear you. Is the Lord alive today? He sure is. Yes, he is. I'm alive forevermore. <laughs> Appreciate you, yeah, Lord. I love you. All because and love. Lord, help him. I pray, dear God. This church. Show to me. We love you, brother. I thank almost every one of you. That's a blessing, brother. Amen, brothers. I didn't know it, but that that knowledge. Help him, Father. We pray to God. I tell you, thank you, Jesus. It goes a long way. Thank you, Jesus. And the brothers lay their hands upon me. Went all the way through. Yes. I told the Lord the first morning I went to the doctor. <clears throat> it's all in your hands. Yes, sir. It's all in your hands. Yes, well, Lord, helping God, I pray. Oh, but when I went to the doctor the next time, it, it was, he gave me a good thing. Oh, yeah, thank God. Lord, bless you, God. Good bill of health. Church showed me a great love. Brother Roger went a long ways with help with me <laughs> because he'd been there. Mm -hmm. And that's what I called on my whole life and probably worried him a lot. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, you I must not have called him. He's still calling. He's still calling. <laughs> I appreciate it, Brother Roger. Love you, Brother John. I sure do. <clears throat> I sure miss this place, people, I'm telling you. It's good to be able to stand here again this morning. Help him, Lord, we pray to God. This is my everything. This is my life. I love this church with everything I got. Yes, Lord, yes, I know. I try to put in put everything I got. I had to do that when you saved my soul, didn't you? Yes, sir. I had to pull it off. Amen. If you don't have to want to in here, folks, there's something wrong. Yes. There's missing something wrong. Amen. Yes. Lord, help me, Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know if I'm going to sing a song or which way to go here. Yeah. Just take your time. Please. Never know.
Brother Fred showed me my song this morning. I think he thought I forgot it already. <laughs>
I guess his yeah. love is his thing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's been so good. That's all I know. Praise and praise how sweet we are. If you ain't here, if you're here today, you hear it today and you don't have Jesus Christ, you need him more yes. than anything else in this world. Sure you got God. that right. Put him first. <laughs> Put him first. <laughs> and get saved. And he'll take care of you. Yeah. He'll yes, take he care will, of you. Brother. He'll take care of it. Everlasting abiding. An old Baptist preacher told me that one time when I was in bad shape for the church and a lot of troubles and things. He said, Brother God, don't worry about what everybody else says. What everybody else says. He said, You get saved and everything else will be all right. He's right with me. He was right. I told him that last week. He was right. He was right. He didn't really help me, Brother Curry. Sure. He was serious about it too, and I was glad. It's good. I don't want to take too long now. I'm sorry to give it that mind. It's structured all It's the truth of it. Now they break it to rip it out. That's right. You know, I'll, I'm going to talk about this this minute. I always said, Marvin, brother, right. Far watch. I always said more. Yeah. That was more walk. When, when it's he, over. When yeah. he started, it, he took a little bit, but not long. But when he got done, he wouldn't say nothing. Or, no. He just yeah. stopped. He said, "That's it." Yeah. I used that same thing for a few That's times. Good, I loved him dearly. The great, great brother. He loved him dearly sure too. He, <coughs> really missed. Yeah, remember she's called from that church. Friends. And, Mr. and Sister Claudia, I love to hear them sing. Amen. Wonderful, <coughs> wonderful brother and sister. I just had to comment on him. <coughs> Today, this is just a get ready place, folks. Yes. This world is in terrible tribulation. You got that right. Never did I think, brother. Me and you both was in the service. That this country <coughs> would ever be in this shape. Never did we, Brother Terry, that it would be this bad. It's going to get worse. But it's going exactly by the book. Black said that yes, word, day by day, is it not? Absolutely. Yes. You, when you go to bed tonight, <coughs> you don't know if he's going to be here. If I don't get up, I go to a better place. If exactly. you don't get up, <coughs> Be better off. I won't still have to worry with it. So. Uh, it's sweet to rest in a lively hope. Sure it is. Amen. It is. It is. It is. It's sweet to rest. Yeah, we like to if you got it. Jesus yeah. Christ in your heart, you got everything you need in this world and the one to come. Amen. That's what I think. Amen. That's what I And I got another good scripture in there. There's plenty of them in there that I love. <laughs> I, I love the whole book. They're all good. Man. I love the whole book too. But Amen. I sure don't understand you all. But I love but I like this one too. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Yeah, that's what I go by. I think so. Trust in the Lord. That's the problem. With all thy heart. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Amen. Cover that book. Yeah. Cover it all, buddy. It covered a lot of ground. That would cover the whole book. Yeah. 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 It will fit any for it. Amen. Is that right or wrong? Help him, Lord. If he's first. Has to be. He has to be first and foremost. And he is that way in my heart. It has to be, brother. Amen. First and foremost. <coughs> that's like almost like a guarantee. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Better than that. Better than that. Better than that. Covenant, brother. Can't yeah. be brother. Trust lying. in the Lord with all thy heart. He's promised to be All thy ways acknowledge me. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. That's 
good enough for me. Good enough for me. I want to take no more trouble now. Time now. But I feel better. I feel relieved. I just wanted to say to you, tell you how much I loved you and how much you love me. I want to thank you for that. For each and every call, even Brother Carl called me. And ever, this is about everybody. Brother Curry, he's like the word up on now. But I prayed for you. I don't know how many times did I even prayed for you again this morning. Thank you, I told yeah. Lord Reen, I said, he's on a tough situation yeah. right now. Yeah. And I know it is. It's tough. It's just like, like being the president. Boy, can you imagine what he is to catch him? Can you imagine what he is to catch him? Whatever you do, I, sometimes they say, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Just do the best you can with it. Help the Lord. Help the Lord. I'm glad you were here. We're going to come through that door. But anyway, I was we'll supposed to go back to the that. doctor. Yes. The blessing, brother. True. And I guess he'll make me an appointment for the surgery or we'll find out Tuesday. <coughs> I, I, I'm expecting it to be probably maybe a week after next or a couple of weeks. He said they was going to do the surgery. <coughs> Probably be two to three weeks of uh, chemo. What's going on about that, John? Uh, a prostate cancer. <coughs> oh. I had a cancer spot in three places. One on this leg here in the front, and one in my back, and one on this hip. And they give me a, I don't hope that you don't hear it from me and tell me. They give me a, when it first started down our little box, they give me a shot in this hip. And, and at the time, I didn't know it, and, but that was for, for cancer then. So they evidently <coughs> smelled the rat somewhere. Right? So he, he gave me then some choices then this last time for to take a shot ever, uh, uh, ever other, or three months, every three months, be four times a year. But he said, I'll tell you, it don't go as long as the surgery was going to said he'll come back. I said, well, let's take the surgery away. But he still gave me until this week. They was having a meeting on it and all the doctors. I don't know much, much about all them doctors and things, but maybe it'll come out all right. I'm just trusting in the Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. And everything will be all right. Yes, it will. But I sure felt good when these brothers laid hands on me. I just felt like it was going right in. You know, it's amazing. That, that really helped me. It really helped me. I love this sir. Love you, brother. I love you. Love you too, brother. I thought about you. Just hang in there. He'll, he'll, he'll be right there. In every condition, in sickness and health, in poverty and veil, or down here in wealth. He said he'd never leave. He never had. Well, he said he can't lie. He can't lie. He can't lie. Can't lie. Can't lie. I believe I've got a place. I believe you have. The depths of my heart. If I didn't, I'd sure be working. Yes, mm -hmm. something about. I'd be doing something about it or trying to. I, I never did quit. Boy, I come sometimes down troubles, and when I got to the bottom every time, here he comes. Pick me right up. Yeah. I was ready to go to church again. Yeah. That's enough said. <laughs> well, I appreciate, family, I really appreciate all of the brothers. All the brothers. All the talks. Thank you, folks, for all the talks. Now we're going to have it, brother. I'm going to We love you, Brother John. Yeah. Oh, truly, we do. I quit. I quit. I quit. Everybody pray for Brother Wilbur.
very glad to be here. So th this is your guys' first Sunday first back? Sunday back. Well, maybe I should have waited a week. Is you guys, your, home, your home brothers will be good no, for you guys. No. We've been, we've been your home on. brothers, son. We've been preaching on that. We're all kind of home brothers, aren't we? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're all the same family, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Got that right. I know that I can't preach without the Lord. I can't Lord sing. I can't do anything without Him. Uh, pray for Him, if you will. I'm not staying very long. I'll try to follow the Lord. I had a, had a mind to come over here today. Yes. Glad. Uh, Thank you. Amen. God be blessed. Was with me, Lord, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord, walk with me.
children of God, a royal priesthood, a city set on a hill, a peculiar people. We're somebody today, ain't we? We've got the same spirit that rose Christ from the grave. That same spirit that rose him. Guess what? It quickened our mortal bodies. It lives right here in the inside of us. So what power do we have? We've got Jesus Christ who has all power in heaven and in earth. So what? A what weapon a will a prosper against us? A none, a no weapon for a why? Because Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, He's got a hold on us. And you know what? I get weak sometimes, but I don't have to worry about holding on. I don't have to worry about my grip. A why? Because Jesus has been, and no devil. Is strong enough to pluck me out of his hand. Why? Because he is the son of the living God. Praise his name today. And he's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is, brother. Thank you, brother. He earned it on the cross. Sometimes, sometimes we get consumed with the world, don't we? Sometimes. Sometimes we get the cares of life. They get us, don't they? Huh? They begin to swell up around us, kind of like Peter. When he walked out of that boat, he seen Jesus walking on the water. And they were, they were in the boat, and the storms began to come, and the boat was rocked to and fro, and they kind of got afraid, didn't they? Then all of a sudden, Jesus, he wasn't there. I mean, then they began to look out, and they See somebody a walking upon the water, a praise the name of the Lord. They thought maybe it was a spirit, and they got afraid. But he said, "Fear not, for it is I." Oh, that's why we need to look sometimes. The cares of the world they begin to get us, but don't worry, don't look upon that. Let's look upon Jesus, for He'll walk above all those things. Praise His name today. Yes, sir. That's what we need to do. Woo! It's our focus. Yeah. That's where it's at today. It's our focus. And the devil, oh, he's a liar, ain't he? Oh, you know who he hates? Oh, he hates God, don't he? He oh, hates the children of God. He hates the church. He hates everything about us. He ain't going nowhere except the lake of fire. So, so you know what? Yeah, that's right. That's right. He knows his end, don't he? Yes, he knows, he knows his end. <laughs> He's going to get up next, okay? <laughs> that's, all, that's all right. That's all right. Don't bother me at all. Amen. The devil Amen. hates God. And there's nothing that he'd love to do anymore than to get tore up the church. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah. In the mind of the Christians. That's the truth. Huh? That's what he, mind, he works in the mind. Our, our, our battles are not the flesh and blood. Our yeah. battles are not. Oh, you know what? And a lot of times, is it right if I walk around? Yeah. In a, in a lot of times, in a lot of times, the devil don't even have to beat upon us. You know why? Because we're too busy fighting among ourselves. And that's sad to say, but we are. You see, divisions everywhere we look. You see, denominational visions. You see, race divisions there. You see, you hate everywhere. Jealousy all over. We're too busy fighting among ourselves. The devil don't even have to work too hard. But you know where our battles are? They're not a flesh and blood. A blood. But our battles are, are, are spiritual battles uh, uh, against principalities and powers, uh, against spiritual wickedness uh, in high places. Uh, uh, where is he battle us at? Uh, right here in the mind. Uh, if he can get us consumed, uh, guess what? Uh, uh, then the troubles of life, uh, uh, they'll begin to eat upon us. Uh, and we lay in bed at night uh, uh, worrying about what's going on. Uh, uh, what am I going to do? Uh, uh, sometimes we don't need to worry, do we? Uh, what do we do? Uh, uh, we cast our cares upon Jesus because he cares for us. We need to understand who we are. Let's understand who our Father is. Let's understand who made the heavens and the earth. Let's understand where we come from. And let's keep in our mind, our focus, or where we're going. Where are we going to church? We're going to heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. What shall consume our mind? Whatever we let consume it. So let's don't be conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let's get him upon Jesus Christ. Let's get our focus 
upon him. Amen. And so when Jesus was walking upon the water and Peter looked out there, he said, bid me to come unto you. Yes, it is. Bid me to come. And Jesus said, come. Come. Yeah, come. That's what he said today, brother. Come. 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 You know what? It's our choice what we want to do. Yeah, it's, it's our true. choice. It's our choice Jews. what we want to do. Jews. Even to the Christians. The amount of work you do in the church, that is your choice. Yes, sir. The closer God as you want to be, that is your choice. That's right. Jews. Huh? Jews. Heaven bought and heaven bound. We're going to heaven, okay? But the joy you have, the joy you have here in this life, it depends on the work you want to put into it. And how far do we want to go? That is your choice. But Peter had a choice to get out of the boat. And I can tell you one thing. The more work you want to do for the Lord, the more battles you're going to have to face. Because the devil, that old roaring lion, seeking that which he may devour, guess what? That raging lion, he's traveling up and down the road, and he's looking for the next one that he wants to sip like weed of a praise the name of the Lord. Guess what? I don't hold myself. I didn't anchor myself. And it's not found upon my rock. It's found upon Jesus Christ. He is the rock. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Wow. And so Jesus said, Come. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Peter made a choice, didn't he? Yeah. I wonder what kind of rumbling was going on in the boat. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of words were coming from everybody. Yeah. Now I'm talking about these were fishermen, weren't they? Yeah. They knew the depth of that water. They knew what was going on. They know that man can't walk on water. Yeah. Right. Logically, man can't. That's right. But we got to move beyond the natural thinking of this life. That's exactly right. We got to look beyond of what we can do. Look beyond of what our ability is. Amen. And let's look at what Jesus Christ can do. Yes. And look at what He has done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peter stepped out of that boat. Victory. Huh? He stepped out of that boat, and he defied the logic of this world. Amen. And he walked on water. Oh, he did. Huh? He did, brother. Not just he stepped out. He sunk. He walked on water. He did. But back in the boat, they might have had a rope ready for him. Huh? <laughs> they might have. They didn't get out of the boat, did they? That's right. Huh? You've always got some that are scared. You've always got some that are not yeah. strong enough. Yeah. But you've always got some that are willing to move out on the Lord yeah. when, the, when God says, come. Amen. Brother. We got some that are willing to stand it's up and move real. out. Yeah. Amen. Okay? Now, I know I'm, I'm doing a lot of talking to the church, and I hope it's all right. You go ahead. I hope it's all right. Because this is where we're at in life. Thank you, Lord. This is where we're at. Jesus said, come, Peter, got out. He defied the logic of this world, and he walked upon the water. As long as his focus was good, he was all right, wasn't he? But I believe that maybe he got a glimpse of the wave. Maybe he got a glimpse of that storm that they had already been into. It's what the Bible talks about. That storm was already there. It was raging, wasn't it? Maybe he looked upon the wave. Maybe he looked up and seen that dark sky. Have any of you got dark skies in your life? Any of you have issues and troubles? But guess what? We've all got them. It rains on the judge. Just as well as the unjust will not exist from that just because we may be Christians. But guess what? Peter focused upon the Lord and he was doing good. But when he took his eyes off of him, he seen the cares of life. Maybe he heard the brothers in the boat. Maybe he heard them saying, you're not going to make it. Peter, you're going to sink. And guess what? He didn't immediately fall, did he? He just started sinking in the water and he got scared and cried out save me and guess what happened immediately Jesus was there and he got a hold of him and he picked him up that's what happened that's what we do we get our focus off of, off of God off of where we're going off of what God has done in our life and we get him upon the cares of this world Amen, brother. and when we get consumed <clears throat> When we get consumed, our joy begins to get smaller. Amen, brother. Our light gets more dim. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Man. And the devil sits back and laughs. <laughs> he just sits back and laughs. Look here, here, look, look what they're doing. Huh? Look here, look here. But you know what? Peter was still Peter. 
Jesus was still Jesus. No matter the way, no matter what happened. We've got a help in Jesus, Tom Williams. We've got a friend in Jesus. A greater love has no man in this than a man lay down his life for his friend. we got a friend. He said, you are my friend. Did you do whatsoever I command? What's he command today? Repent and be born again. I guess what? And he'll write your name in the land of the life. Let's get our focus upon who we are. Yeah. We're the children of God. Amen. Amen. Huh? Not the children of a God. We're the children of the God. Yes. The God who yes. has all power. He's the creator of the heavens and yes. the earth. That's where our, our focus needs to be. That's where our understanding is. So this virus, is it real? Sure it is. God has given us common sense too. Yeah. Now you know what? People say, oh, but you got faith. Amen. You got faith. People say, oh, gee, I'm faith. Y'all ain't going to church. You ain't got no faith. You ain't going to say, yeah, we do. I got faith. I got faith that I stepped out in front of traffic. That if I did, I got enough faith that, I, that God, I know God, if he wanted to, he could stop the semi before it hit me. Yeah. But he also give me common sense not to go step out in front of a semi. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's common sense. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with us coming to church. There's nothing wrong with having masks on. We should do that. There's nothing wrong with cleaning our hands and cleaning the bathrooms and doing things. Nothing wrong with that. Because our hope doesn't lie in these four walls. No, sir. Our hope is not here in these four walls. That's right. I hope it's Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. I hope it's Jesus. That's right. That's right. For so long we've been trapped in four walls. So long that we've uh, condensed Jesus Christ into four walls. Uh, you know, a lot of times we see that in churches. If you want to hear about the Lord, the Lord, you want to come here on two hours on Sunday and you can hear about it. That's why that's why it's condensed in a lot of churches. It's true. That our Christians aren't living the life outside of church. They just come and they'll they'll celebrate it and they'll they'll worship and they'll give them praise and that two hours on Sunday and you won't see them again. Amen, brother. Now what I'm gonna get to maybe is a little bit hard. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Give me just a second, okay? Our churches. They're set up for a reason. Place. It's spelled out to send yourselves in heavenly places. Yeah. What? <clears throat> this is a heavenly place. Yes, it is, brother. This is a place we come to worship. Yeah. yeah. Can we worship outside these walls? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And let's not get confined in them. Yeah. Where's the battle at? Is the battle here in these four walls? No, that's good, or is this a rest area? We travel a lot sometimes, our family does, and we'll go for long distances. And we'll stop at a rest area to rest and refresh, use the restroom to stretch our legs a little bit and just <clears throat> kind of wake up. Then we get back and we'll go right back in the road. The church is not standing still. No. The church should always be moving. Moving on forward, brother. This is not our home. That's right. If it was, we would have fought, wouldn't we? Yeah. yeah. But this 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 place called Earth, this is not our home. No. This is not our home. We've got a home waiting on us, don't we? Amen. And I mentioned about the devil just a minute ago. <clears throat> My boy seems like it's, it struggles over the last, some of the last month. It just, it comes and goes. So if it cracks, don't worry about it. <clears throat> but I mentioned about the devil just a minute ago. And this brother said, yeah, he's got a home, don't he? Huh? He knows what his end is, don't he? The lake of fire. Well, we got a home too. We know what our end is. Yeah. Don't we? Heaven. Yeah, that's heaven. Absolutely. Heaven. heaven. Streets yeah. of gold. That's all right. I like streets. You know what I'm saying? But streets of gold. I've never seen streets of gold. But that's not why I'm going, Brother Jim. Oh, no. no. Walls of Jasper. That sounds pretty good, but that's not why I'm going. No. Oh, <laughs> Amen. Gates of Pearl. That sounds good, but that's not why I'm going. No. No. Mansions in heaven. My father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Mansions in heaven. Is that why I'm going? No. I'm going because of a man named Jesus Christ. And what he did for me. I deserve hell. I deserve to burn in a lake of fire. Why? Because of sin. But guess what? By the loving mercies of God. I don't have to worry about that. And the only fire and burning I'm going to feel is the burning of the Holy Spirit in my heart. I praise the name of the Lord. Heaven, sweet heaven one day is going to be mine. That's where my focus is. But guess what? The devil knows his end. 
saved. Uh, and that's all right. Uh, uh, because uh, he's going to be cast into an outer darkness. Uh, and if you deny the Lord uh, and you don't repent, guess what? Uh, you're going to take up your home beside the devil uh, in that lake of fire uh, and to be cast out forever and ever and ever uh, with a worm knife not uh, and a fire. Uh, it is never quenched. Uh, it's everlasting darkness. Uh, you know why that is? Uh, uh, because it'll be separated from God. Uh, and there'll be no light there. Uh, why? Because God is light. Uh, and you'll be separated forever and ever and ever. And the smoke of your torment shall ascend up. Yes. Woo, forever. Amen. 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 But we don't have to worry about that. No. Those that have been born again. Amen. Amen. So what care shall we have yeah, that shall consume that. around yeah. if we keep our hope upon Jesus? Amen. Amen. We have ups and downs. Yes, we will. Oh, yeah. But the battle is hot. Yeah. But the battle. It is, brother. The battle is out here. The battle is out here. We've come to church to worship in spirit and in truth, to grow and to increase and to study, to show thyself approved, a workman under God. We're here uh, to be renewed, uh, and we're renewed day by day. Look, could you imagine uh, these last few months, a lot of people not come to church, uh, and they were struggling. We get weak, don't we? Uh, I love coming to church. I love feeling the spirit of the Lord. Uh, I can grow weak, uh, but when I come, uh, and the Lord begins to move uh, and the carriage of life uh, they melt away uh, and I can walk in the cool of the day with the Lord uh, uh, praise his name uh, and that's good uh, and that's what I want that renews me uh, it gives me just a touch of what's coming in the morning of all hearts. so fill not to assemble yourselves in heavenly places that's what we're doing that's what we're doing what are we doing what are we getting ready for uh-huh we're getting ready because we go right back out in the battle. Yeah. Right back out in the battle. Yeah. So, so what are we doing in the battle? That's what I want to get on your mind. What are we doing in the battle? Yeah. Amen. Are we being that lie? Jesus Christ said, I am the lie of the world. He said, when I go away, you know. yeah. then you are the lie of the world. Yeah. How big is our life? How Amen. big is your life? Amen. What are we doing? How bright is it? Amen. Because the devil is battling against you. Huh? He's fighting you. He may not fight, you may not see him yourself in front of you, but the cares of life are coming all up on you to dim your light, to steal your joy, to make your walk hard. And it's so bad sometimes I see Brother Junior that the children of God don't have the armor on, but they pick up that shield of faith and they're comfortable just hiding behind it. They're comfortable. They're going to heaven one day, but the walk doesn't show much fruit because they're hiding behind the shield. But we don't need to do that. We need to put on the full armor of God and that help the breastplate of righteousness. Have on. Have your shoes shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Have your Lord's girt with truth. Pick up the sword of the Spirit. And guess what? And march on. And let the, the banner and let it wave high. And sound the trumpet. Let the world know whose side you're on. And the devil, when he looks at you, he'll say, No, he's too strong. I'm not going to bow him. I'm going after the weak ones. We need to stand strong for the Lord. And sound that banner. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the impact in your community right here? Amen. If we were all in one mind. In one Amen. Amen. Could you imagine the feel of the Lord yeah. as it flows through these mountains, yeah. through these hills, through these trees? Huh? That is your choice. Your choice whether you want to get out of the boat. That's right. Everybody in that boat were disciples. Yeah. Ah, were. Everybody in that boat was disciples. Only one. They were yeah, but here. one That's was true. willing to get out into danger. <coughs> Which one are you today? Amen. Hmm? Uh-huh. That's we get up and about the Father's business. You'll be there Amen. to stand by and watch. Every day. Amen. <laughs> All Amen. Day. And the job to get out of that boat isn't for everybody. No. That's That's right. He calls you, brother. He calls you. Abide in the calling. We're with your call. Yes. But those that do, 
And those that don't are to still be in one mind and one accord. Amen. Amen. Right. If you're in the boat and you see your brothers getting out, don't be praying for them. Pray. Amen. Because we quote a lot of times that armor, the helmet, the breastplate, the sword, the shield. Huh? Your boys, girl, your shoes, is there? all that things. And we, and we we stop it right there. But the last one yeah. it says prayer, prayer. Yeah. Are we in prayer? Amen. I am continually. Yes. Continually. Yes. That's right. That's right. Amen. And it lies in you. you know? Amen. Because that same Spirit that rose Christ from the grave, just as I said when I started. It's the same spirit that yeah. wails inside of each yeah. one of you. Huh? So when we wake up, it shouldn't be, Lord, what am I going to face today? We should wake up. God, I'm yours. I'm not going right now, but God, while I'm here, show me the path. Lean not to thine own understanding, as Proverbs 3, 5 says. Lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. Right now. Yes. Take care of it. God knows what he's doing. Huh? Let's be like this. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus and let the world go on. There you go. That's right. How sweet it is. Well done, brother. My Lord bless Well done. Yes, brother. Lord bless you. Brother Bill. Brother Bill. Lord has been here and yes. blessed these brothers. I've enjoyed being here today. Yeah, but I thank God day, for okay, every moment that I have in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Oh, bless God, we pray. I had a song on my mind. Uh, I, uh, a lot of you didn't know B. Ison. He was an old brother that's down the Indian Bottom. And I remember him at the Mount Zion Church. I was called down there today, and I didn't go. I sent Marty. I told you go down, and, and uh, I said, well, they can, you can take my part too, bro. I was aggravating him a little bit. But anyhow, Roby Eisen, uh, I remember him singing at the little Zion Church there, sitting off the left. And I never yes, and forgot God. this song. Him and a, another brother of Mullins, I think it was, uh, wrote this song. <laughs> so you don't hear it much. Probably is, I don't know if it's in, even in some book or not. But the help of the Lord, I, I want to try to sing it because it's been on my mind to sing it. Yeah. Good. You all pray for me. That the Lord will give me his spirit, not only to sing, but to speak with. Lord, help God, we pray. I need that today. <coughs> Summer is past, and the fields have turned red, and the winter will soon bring the snow. The doctor.
my loved ones behind. But when I pray to the Lord and feel I'm ready to go, it eases my trouble.
that took the blind man. Uh, uh, they cried, Lord, open my eyes. Uh, and the Bible said that Jesus uh, uh, took him by the hand uh, and led him out of the city. Uh, uh, Brothering the day, uh, uh, you're going to have to follow the Lord, friend. Uh, uh, you're going to have to get out of the city uh, of death uh, and follow him uh, uh, where you can see uh, uh, the Son and Jesus uh, uh, took him out of the city uh, and sped upon his eyes uh, and told him to look up. Uh, uh, oh, brother, today, uh, uh, look under the hill from winds uh, our help coming yeah. from uh, uh, the sun. Uh, uh, there's no rock like our rock. Uh, uh, build your house upon that rock. Uh, and when Jesus uh, anoint your eyes, friend, uh, uh, with that eye cell, uh, uh, you'll be able to see, uh, uh, you'll be able to feel what uh, uh, these brethren has been preaching about today, uh, uh, this love, this lovely being uh, uh, that come into this world, uh, uh, made of a woman, uh, uh, made under the law that he uh, about yeah, redeemed them uh, uh, that was under the law uh, uh, grace uh, uh, of his the law uh, he said king by Moses uh, uh, oh but grace uh, and truth uh, uh, came by Jesus Christ uh, 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 the author and the finisher of our faith uh, uh, the one that I put my trust in uh, a long time ago brother yeah. Perry uh, and I believe today uh, uh, I'm the same today brother uh, and when I was 19 and 75 uh, when he picked my feet out of the mire and the clay uh, and uh, set them on a rock uh, and put a new song in my mouth uh, uh, even praise unto his name uh, uh, listen he anointed my eyes uh, uh, with thyself uh, as he did that blind man <clears throat> And told him to look up, uh, uh, friend, today. Uh, and he said, what do you see? Uh, you and he said, I, I see men as trees uh, uh, walking around upon the earth. Uh, and he uh, uh, told him to look up again. Uh, he saw everything clear. Uh, I'm looking through a glass darkly yeah. today. Uh, uh, but one day, the sweet by and by, uh, I'm going to see him face to face. I'm going to hear him say welcome uh, that good uh, and faithful servant uh, you've been faithful over a few things uh, I'm going to make you ruler over many uh, oh Lord God keep your eyes on the prize uh, of the high calling brethren uh, and press on to that mark uh, of the Lord is calling uh, uh, brother, will you not go? Uh, uh, listen, sinner man, today. Uh, he yeah. said, I stand all the day long, brother Lon, uh, uh, with outstretched arm. Uh, and he's a call and come unto me. Uh, oh, ye that yeah. labor and heavy laden, uh, and take my oh, yoke Lord, upon Lord, ye, uh, and learn of me. My yoke is easy, uh, and my burden to light. Uh, I'm going to tell you, people in the world, uh, uh, there's trials and tribulations. Uh, uh, but in me, he said, uh, uh, you shall have peace, uh, and my peace I give unto you, uh, uh, not as the world yeah. giveth, uh, I give unto you. Uh, uh, listen, this peace uh, uh, that flows like a river, uh, he calls to come down from on high. Uh, uh, brother, and I thought, uh, I thought of the golden candlestick uh, yeah. under the law there we see. Uh, uh, there was a golden yeah. candlestick, uh, and on the top of the golden candlestick, uh, yes, uh, there was a bowl pattern. Uh, and he said, the day, and there were seven lambs uh, and seven pipes to the lambs. Uh, there was two uh, pipes, brother, and two, uh, and where the golden oil uh, uh, come yeah. down through yeah. the golden pipe uh, and listen the day uh, and pours out into the golden bowl. Uh, and oh, Lord, uh, open up our heart and pour uh, in the golden oil, friend, yeah. uh, at the grace of God. And that bring us salvation I have appeared unto all men teaching, uh, teaching us that the nine and godliness uh, and worldly lust that we uh, uh, should live for right you right here. Uh, righteously right here in this present yes, world uh, uh, ever looking uh, unto Jesus.
Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Listen today, let us contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. That faith today is not changed. There's one Lord, there's one faith, there's one baptism, and by the one Spirit are you all baptized into the one body. I know John indeed baptized with water. But he said there's one coming after me. He'll baptize you with the fire and the Holy Ghost. I'm going to tell you this. He will anoint your eyes with eyesail. He will anoint you and he'll put a new heart in you. He'll take out the old stony heart. He'll give you a heart of love and love that you can love your enemy and do good to them that is properly used you. It goes against all nature, friend. Listen, when the Lord saves your soul and makes a new creature out of you, you're not the same man that you want to love. He will like Saul said, he become another man. I'm going to tell you when the man, when the blind man and Jesus anointed him, he became a different man, brother. He looked up and saw all things clear. I'm going to tell you today, friend, Jesus loves you, friend. He wants you to come unto him. He wants to give unto you eternal life. He wants to come in and sup with you and you with him. He wants to anoint you with that Holy Spirit of anointing the Son today, friend. John and Dee baptized with water. The ones are coming after him. And we got him here today, friend. He's a baptizing everyone that will open their heart and be baptizing them in the fire and the Holy Ghost. And listen today. And after you receive the fire and the Holy Ghost, he's commanded you to put your light on the candlestick and then all that's in the house can see and can understand that you're a new creature in Christ. He wants you to go down to the lake with grave. He wants you to show the whole world whose side that you're on. Baptism is not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but it's an answer of a good conscience toward God. Listen today, we're in the like Peter, he said, a water baptism doeth also. And now save us. Now what kind of water was he talking about? I'm washed you with pure water, brother. There is no pure water in the river, brother. The only pure water there is that come out of the side of the Son of God. Uh, brother, that therefore came uh, blood and water. Uh, uh, boy, then I got under that fountain. Uh, I got me a little drink of that water. Uh, yeah. I felt the anointing of the Spirt come oh, down yeah. really, uh, and anointed like uh, the Did old writer you know, said, he anointed my head with oil uh, yeah. and my cup run over. Uh, uh, surely goodness and mercy uh, uh, will follow you all the days uh, yeah. of your life and you. Uh, so shall we dwell in the house of the Lord. Uh, oh, what kind of a house uh, are you talking about, brother? I, I'm not talking about these four walls. Uh, uh, brother Willie was uh, talking about. Uh, uh, brother, I'm talking about uh, uh, to show the house unto the house. Uh, uh, there's a house yeah. built uh, up of lively stone. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're fully, uh, uh, they're firmly uh, established in the, in the foundation. Oh, yeah. uh, and this Sunday day, they're polished. Uh, listen, they're lively stones. Uh, uh, and they are shining to the world. Uh, oh, bless this house today uh, that God has made. And I, I feel I'm a little part of her brother and I, uh, just a man that was unworthy uh, uh, to, uh, to receive this salvation. Uh, uh, brother Terry, I felt so unworthy. I, I still feel unworthy, brother. And I, I still pray for mercy. I, I still cry for the hands of the Lord uh, to come yes, me up, uh, out of the state yes, that I'm yes, in. Uh, yes. uh, oh, friend today, uh, put your trust in the Lord. Uh, for he that puts yes. your trust in the 
Lord shall be in Mount Zion. He'll mount up with wings. He'll run and he'll not be worried. Listen today. Sometimes he says to run. Sometimes he says to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Listen, I hope, I hope today, if you don't know him, to come to this merciful God and let him anoint you with the anointing from on high and that will make a new creature out of you and you can feel what I feel right down in my heart. There you go. Oh, boy. Give me Jesus, brother. Give me Jesus while I live. Give me Jesus while I die, while my the death, while the last breath is coming out of my body. Let me speak the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord, for the very salvation uh, uh, that come down, brethren, into this poor man's heart. Uh, and give me life abundantly. Uh, it's abundant life today, brethren. Uh, uh, there's no God like our God. Uh, that's able to deliver you out of darkness uh, and live right. marvelous light. Uh, uh, you do well, friend, uh, that you take heed to that light uh, that shines in a dark place uh, until the day dawn uh, and the day star arises in your heart. Uh, and let her ring on, brethren, uh, and let the light shine yeah. unto the world today. Uh, I can see how, uh, how great Jesus is. It's not about me. It's not about the brother. No, or the it's, about Jesus. it's about Jesus, brother. Oh, amen. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. It's about the one that can deliver you. Amen. Pick your feet out of the mire and the clay yeah. and set them on that eternal foundation yeah. that no other man can lay. No. Save that which is already laid. Yeah. Jesus Christ and the apostles and prophets. Yeah. And him being the cornerstone, yeah. brethren. Foundation. He is the foundation stone. Yeah. And if you'll build your house upon him, he said, when the rains come, uh, of the words temptations, when the temptation uh, and the rains come and be upon way. your house, uh, uh, you'll be able to stand, friend. Uh, but if you build your house on the sand, uh, uh, listen, the same storm will come. Uh, and he'll and how uh, and that house fell uh, and grow. Close the fall of that house. Uh, but if you built your house on the rock, uh, uh, the two places it said one, I uh, said it fell not, uh, and the other said it shook not. Uh, uh, boys, if you can't shake her, you can't make her fall. Uh, uh, there are not enough devils in hell to get one of you that has been born again uh, and got his foundation on the rock. Our God. It's real. Our God today it's is an everlasting Savior today. Savior. He don't say for the day and gone tomorrow uh, what God gives you. He said, I give unto them uh, eternal life and they shall never perish. Free and I, it's an everlasting salvation. Amen. 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 If you'll trust in the Lord, he'll give it to you. Yes. If you'll come to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, uh, he said, I'll in no wise cast you out, uh, but I and my father will come in and sup with you uh, and you with me. And I, uh, he said, I'll give unto them eternal life uh, and I will never leave them. I'll be with you in the sixth trouble. I, I'll not let no evil come upon you in the seventh. I, 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 listen, he said, I'm an everlasting abider. Yes. He don't have to come and abide for a little while. He said he was an everlasting abiding. That's a difference in abiding for a little while. All this Sunday day, the everlasting abider, uh, uh, he'll take up his abode and fire, uh, and he'll go to more out. That's the promise of the Almighty God. And when he returns again, What's he going to look for? He's going to look and see. Uh, are your name written on the palm of his hand? Uh, is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? Uh, he said, there was another book open. Uh, uh, listen, it had with the Lamb's book of life. Uh, and whosoever was not found written uh, in the book of life was cast into the burning lake of fire. Uh, it burned with fire and brimstone where the beast uh, and the false prophet are. Uh, uh, listen today, friend, you don't want to go down there. And the rich man was not happy there with all five of his senses, brethren, today. Uh, uh, he looked into heaven. Uh, he saw Lazarus over there. Uh, uh, 
son had been. He was in comfort and peace and love. Uh, boy, no doubt, uh, uh, he had a mail with our brother. Uh, but the old rich man was down in the uh, in hell, brother, where the flames was around him. Uh, he said, let Lazarus come and dip his finger in water uh, and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. There you go. Amen, brother. He could see, he could hear Father Abraham say, Listen, there's a great golf fixed in, in yonder's world. You had the good things and Lazarus the evil. Yeah. But now Lazarus is covered and you are tormented. That's right, brother. Listen today, friend. Uh, uh, salvation is real. Uh, our God is real. Yeah. Heaven is real and hell is real. Uh, yeah. uh, choose you this day whom you will serve. Uh, uh, whether it be God uh, or whether it be the devil. Uh, uh, that you might escape uh, uh, that awful place of torment. Yeah. Right, all that my children could escape. And how are they going to escape? The same way I escape. The same way I come. The same way they would come. Thanks, Jesus said, I'm the door into the sheepfold. If any man will come in, he said, I'll, I'll give up to him that eternal life. And he'll never go to bore out. He'll stay in the kingdom, brother. I don't believe in salvation today and gone no, tomorrow. Sir, no. I believe what God does, he does forever. That's right. No man can add to it. No man can take a one way from it. He that is born to God doeth not commit sin. No. Why? Because his seed, which is Jesus, well within him, therefore he cannot see. You're no longer your own kept keeper, right. but you're kept by the power of God. That's right. What are you waiting for, my junior? Yeah. I'm going to tell you, friend, if God can keep you, you might well forget it. There is no hope left. But I can assure you, he that had power over the wicked one come in and took up his abode, bound the strong man and spoiled his goods and cast him out. He is the one dwelling in the palace. He's a ruler. He's a ruler in the palace today, brother. And there is not enough devils in hell to cast one out. Jesus said, "My who my father give unto me, I've lost none, save the son of perdition, yeah, that the scripture yeah, might be yeah, fulfilled. Right. For he was a devil from the beginning. Yeah. God knows what he was. Jesus knows yeah. what he was. He made him. <clears throat> so here today, brother, I'm thankful that the Lord has been with us. I felt good. It's been good. It's been good. I thank him for his wonderful spirit. That comfort that I feel when he comes down and he begins to bubble up within us, brother. It brings life to yes. us. It brings a little hope to us. A little strength to go on. Yes, the journey. Yes. We need a little strength. You gotta have yes. courage. God knows. Oh, I need yes. a little strength. God knows you need a little strength. Yes. Oh, yes. But He is a stronghold <laughs> in the time of need. He is a, he's a rock and a weary yes. man. He's a shelter. Come and get under the wings of his love, brother. Yes, yes. And that day shall a man be alive. Yes, yes, yes. And there's a rock in a weary land. There's a covert from the storm, yes. friend. Do you need a place to hide today? In that day shall the sun of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Come and get that healing that left on him. Yes. Yes. That your eyes may be open. That your mind may be under they understand <clears throat> that you're serving Jesus yes. and not the devil. And he will give you that understanding. He will give you a new mind. His brother preached about a, a garment on you. I can assure you, he'll close your mind with a new mind. He said, I'll put my laws in their heart and in their minds. I will write them. I can assure you, he puts them in there. And you know the right from the wrong. It is the whole duty of man is to keep God's commandments. Fear God and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. And if you fail to do that, friend, yeah. I'm going to tell you hell where the rich man went. I didn't preach it all out. You go read it. Mm. All five of his senses. Yeah. And in that day, I'm going to get this. I'm going to close, brother. In that day, I'm when he turned, he said, Elder, <clears throat> he said, there's only two seeds, and every seed's going to get its own body. Yeah. Now, you're either of the bond woman or you're of the free woman. And you're going to get a body. The free woman's like an unto Jesus' body. And those that are in been down in hell is going to get a body they cannot die. Hell, that's right. <clears throat> and they'll burn, burn, they'll die, die, and never die. Sunday.
as we've done, but there's always room to do better. If uh, everybody be quiet a minute, please. And uh, if we, if y'all want to have church next Sunday, raise your hand. Look like the yays the morning. Okay, now, now I know that if there's any contaminants in here, probably seven days, most of them will be gone. But we'll have somebody come up and sanitize, and we'll take care of that. And most times, in seven days, everything's gone anyway. Of course, you hear all kinds of conflicting stories. Yeah. Sisters, in. Yeah, they said, well, it was. It did, did stay on surface, and now it don't stay on surface. <coughs> but it does stay on surface. I don't care what they say. When you touch the door knob, and they've had the flu, you like to get the flu. That's the way it is. And so somebody will take care of that, but in seven days, most of the contaminants will be gone. That's why that's the way they say anyway. Now, we're going to have church next Sunday, so we want everybody to come be with us, and we appreciate it. And uh, understand, we have a visiting brother with us today. Understand that we need to go there also. And he's going to get out of his appointment and ask you to come. Aren't you, brother? Go ahead. Come see us at Rock Fork. It's uh, in Floyd County. And uh, it's at 10 o'clock on the 4th. And uh, on the odds, uh, right now, Wednesday night, we're not having a full open service. Our Wednesday nights are dedicated to our online services for people who can't get out. So. Great. We will not have Wednesday night service here for some time. We'll wait and see how it goes and, uh, and see how it goes when you know how everything are, is, you know. And uh, so that's the way I see it now. Everybody raise your hands so everybody said we're going to have church. Yeah, and so great. We will be here and Lord willing. Does anybody have any other announcements to make? Bethany Church. Amen. When are they going to have it? Next month. Next First Sunday of each month. We're starting back next month. Okay. Be with us. Any other announcements to make? <clears throat> we thank you for coming and being with us today and, and, and braving <coughs> the virus, so to speak. And there is a lot of churches today that are meeting and the virus is showing, coming out. So I advise you to take care of yourself no matter where you go. Yeah. It's up to you. The mask don't bother me. The mask, by, the mask bothers some people. don't bother me. Uh, so you just do what you have to do to take care of yourself. Any other announcements? There are other announcements. Brother Keith, would you call this mission? <coughs> Heavenly Father, it's once more we approach your throne. God, we want to thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us. God, we want to thank you again for each one that has come this way. We thankful, Lord, that you fed your sheep and your little lambs today. Mm -hmm. God, thank you for the love that we felt, Heavenly Father, that flows from breast to breast with your people. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for blessing these ministers today. Thankful, God, for your word, Heavenly Father, that's able, Heavenly Father, to reveal sin in a man or a woman's heart, Heavenly Father. And I pray, God, if there's anyone here that's lost, rude and undone, that they may consider the things that they've heard here today, Lord, and seek your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, and be born again. Heavenly Father, that's the reason we're here, not to be seen, but to raise up the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, that some lost soul may repent and be born again. But Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for everything that you've done for us. And Lord, I want to ask you again to, con to continue to bless Sister Jennifer back here and all the yes, ones that Lord. were mentioned in prayer, Lord. Heavenly Father, I feel good in my heart, Lord. I believe that you're going to take care of her, Heavenly Father. And I believe, O oh Lord, that you'll not withhold any good thing from your people, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. The ones that walk obedient here in this present world. So, Lord, we want to thank you, God, once again for everything you've done. Thank you for salvation in your Son, Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. And, Lord, help us to take heed to what was heard here today. Help us to draw nigher to you, Lord, that you may draw nigher to us, Heavenly Father, so that men may see our, Heavenly Father, see our good works and that it may glorify you, Heavenly Father. Now, Lord, we love you. We thank you. God bless us to assemble again here next Sunday. Lord, I ask you to bless Brother Willie and the Rock Fork Church and each one of your little flocks wherever they may be. Help us, Lord, to lift up the name of Jesus wherever we may go, Heavenly Father, and to be a light wherever we go here upon the earth. Now, Lord, we love you. We thank you for Jesus and everything he's done and everything he's going to do for us. Lord, forgive us for all of our sin and shortcomings. Help us, Lord, to be just what you want us to be. And it's in Jesus' most high and precious name that I ask these things. 
It's an amen and amen. 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 Guys, everybody amen. take all the precautions that's necessary before you go visit anybody today. Yeah. Uh, plenty of stuff out there. There's stuff out there in the, in the building. 